All right, next part is getting over a bad game. Now, this happens all the time because players have bad games. It's a part of life again, part of the game. You're going to have a bad game. And we already went over your best performance and your worst performance. So you're going to have a worst performance where this is your absolute rock bottom worst game. And then you're going to have stuff in between that where you didn't play as well as you could have and you could have done better. And that happens. Okay, so get that. It's going to happen. How do you rebound from it? Now, this is a question that we've gotten, the three of us, Coach Paul, Coach Joel, uh, and myself. Coach, how do I get my bad game out of my head? Maybe you just came off a game on Saturday or Sunday and you come to practice Monday and you can't get that mistake or the result or something out of your head because you feel like it didn't go the way you wanted it to. Now, look at it from this perspective. You've already answered 50% of your question because if you can't get it out of your head, it's in your mind, it's mental. Move on. Now, that's probably the hard part, right? Moving on is the hard part. What I'm going to show you next after this is essentially a couple actions or steps that you need to be doing that will help you move on. Very, very important. If you actually want to move on and stop letting this, you know, be a rot to you, you need to move on. Now, here's one trick. Ask yourself this question. Does this one game or this one action in this game, whatever, whatever is bothering you, is it going to affect you in five years, in one year? In 30 days, if the answer is no, you don't need to stress about it anymore. Because if it doesn't change you in any way, there's no reason to get upset or angry or let it bug you anymore because it has no long-term effect or relation to you. Now, we've seen this a lot. Bad games often happen due to fear. Fear of the opponent, fear of the location or the conditions of the game, your coach, the opposition coach, the referee, who's watching, maybe it's scouts, maybe it's your parents, grandparents, girlfriend, boyfriend, brother, sister. Now, fear is one of the things that stops a lot of people from achieving greatness. Do not let fear control you. Fear can't control you. If it does, you'll never reach the heights you want to get to because you're stuck in being controlled. You have to be able to move on. Now, let's move into the seven steps here. So seven steps, seven actions, getting over a bad game. So the first thing we recommend you do is admit you had a bad game. That's the first thing you have to do is say, you know what? I had a bad game. It was me. I did it. Second step, pretty much in line with this is take full responsibility. This is very important because you might be like, yeah, I had a bad game, but then you'll say, oh, but it was Johnny's fault that I gave that pass. He wasn't open. Don't blame anybody else but yourself. Do not do that. Take full responsibility for your game because you're the only person that can control that. Now, you got to say, it was my fault. I had a bad game. Once you can do that, you can then move on to step three. If you're still stuck and saying, well, coach did this, or Johnny did that, or Zach did this. No. Look at yourself first, take full responsibility, and then move forward. Once you've done that, you can go to step three. Analyze why. This is important. Very, very important. You need to know why did you not play well. Is it a lack of sleep? Did you not sleep well the night before? Was it fear like we just discussed? Was it nutrition? Did you not have a proper warm-up? What is it? And there's many other things, but take time to evaluate why. When you know why, then you can change it. If you don't know why, what are you going to change? So that's why you need to analyze. Okay, next step would be to analyze your game. This is obviously important if you have game film and you can go back and watch it. Maybe your parents took some clips or maybe somebody else did. See if you can get your hands on the footage. Watch the film, watch the game film, watch the small clips. And then write down positive and negative moments. Discuss them. Maybe go to your coach and say, Coach, I'd like to talk to you for 10 minutes uh, about my game on Saturday. Can we watch these clips? Send it to him. 
right? Analyze your game. Analyze the mistake. And that's probably one of the hardest things is let's say you made a mistake that led to a goal or something you did that was really bad that your coach didn't like. You need to be strong enough to go back and look at that and be like, yep, that's my mistake. I can own that. I did that. I need to be better. When you do that, you can actually allow yourself to grow. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's not easy, but it's, it's, if you do that, you'll change yourself mentally. Okay. Step five is kind of what I said. Talk with your coach and your teammates about the game. Get their opinion. Maybe watch the film with them. See what they say. Any advice? Six. This is a great one. Move on. Right? Obviously. But what we want you to do, think about, think about the games you played great in. Okay? So, if you do that, you're now changing away from the negative aspects. Oh, I didn't play well in this game. If you're thinking about if you're thinking about games you play great in, your mindset goes back to positive and how you know you can do better. Very important. So maybe you go to the weekend before and you've had the game of your life. Think about that game instead. Go back and watch those clips. And it can give you that reminder. Ah, I can do this. And then the next thing is, we recommend get back on the field ASAP. The best way to get over a game is to start playing again and perform better. Now, you need to make sure that you've moved on first. Otherwise, you're going to struggle because you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to get stuck in a vicious cycle. But getting back on the field will change everything for you. Okay? See you in the next video.